i9s. We crashed it a lot yesterday. Um, this is just some more footage of it flying in a slightly gustier condition and it does really well. It's a really nice, enjoyable plane to fly. <coughs> Don't need more than 50% throttle. Um, very portable as I said. Lasts about 10 minutes or so, maybe longer. I don't think I even ran the battery out today. Um, very similar to the XKA100. Similarly priced, similarly stabilised, but a pusher. So if you crash it, less damage to the motor, hopefully. Um, and just as graceful. <clears throat> I really just wanted to put this video out there to show, well, it flying in slightly stronger winds, which is great. I am not going to try a camera on this. My camera of choice at the moment is the Firefly Micro, which, um, because of the way I didn't balance it, destroyed my XKA800. So, just really a chat. Um, so far to date, I've flown lots of drones, had a lot of fun. I've stopped buying drones now at the Mavic Mini. Simply the price I want to pay, the footage I want to get, the compactability. Love it. And that's the top of my game. That's where I'm going with drones. I may get um, a Mavic Pro in years to come when the prices come down, but the Mavic Mini will do for me. Similarly, we had a dabble in cars recently, and I found the JDRC Q70 Twist an absolutely excellent fun bargain basement buy, um, as opposed to the WL Toys 12428, which is that green mad buggy thing. Hilarious fun. My son absolutely loves it. It goes through any grass fields. We take it on walks with the dogs. It's just hilarious. Now moving on to planes, I've flown the QF008, which is the Boeing 787 beginner. That was fantastic as an introduction. I found the, I've flown the XKA100, which was just a bit more frantic fun and could handle the wind a lot better. Um, real beginner sort of twin propellers from the back, stabilised flights. I do need stabilised as an option, as I'm rubbish at flying, even though I enjoy it. I hope not to be one day, but I need practice. So moving on with that as a discussion, um, I've also flown the Trainstar Mini, which was 400mm wingspan, very jumpy in the winds and really needed a very calm day to fly it. The Atop P01, which was terrible. The Nine Eagles, which was just a disaster. Very much similar design to this, but unstabilised and the servos were past it. I thought I'd got a bargain, I didn't. I'm looking for recommendations in short. Here we have someone who's flown an XK800, XKA800 and enjoyed it. Likes the, um, what was Sky King F959 in the S form, now by XK. This is Sol Gobbledgook, basically this one flying here. Um, I just really want some recommendations beyond the Omph Hobby T720, which in reflection is not as bad as I thought in comparison. <laughs> to maybe this and its abilities. I might go back to that for a few more flights over a few more days if exercise will allow, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, what I'm looking for is recommendations. I've seen things like the Volantic Fir Volantic's First Star, um, a Volantic Super Cub. I'm looking for something around 70, 75 millimeter wingspan, not as much as 1.2. Um, something that can carry the Firefly Micro with ease and maybe even a Q Firefly Q6, if possible. Um, with stabilisation as an option, what is there out there? Does anyone know? Um, I don't want to spend much more than £100 if I have to. I'd prefer to pay nearer 60 but they're really only 500mm wingspans around there. Um, thoughts, recommendations, please. I'd, I'd really like something I could FPV and film things with while I'm flying. Um, if I've already got it in the Omph Hobby T720, then tell me how to rig it up, I guess. I don't know. I'd, I just wanted something more in the 200 gram class and above that was capable and had a stabilisation and preferably a pusher. Recommendations and advice, please. Um, enjoy the rest of the footage. As usual, like and subscribe. I thoroughly enjoyed this plane today. It's definitely a keeper. Um, I even bought, when it was a bargain from Banggood, just under £70, the 757-4, I think it's called. 1.4 metre wingspan. It's just not me. I'm going to put it back up for sale. I think it's now going for about £80 anyway. Um... I can just see a lot of polystyrene bits flying around the field if I even try to get that in the air. 
Um, so yeah, around 200 grand plus, around 100 pounds or less. 75 mil wingspan roughly, with stabilization, but the ability to easily carry a small camera like the Firefly Micro. Um, thanks very much for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll get lost now and leave it to the rest of the footage. Bye now. Just had another thought as well. I've got like um, a kit, an MG800, I think I paid just under £30 for. I've managed to get a motor, don't know whether it's powerful enough, and a few bits to patch that together. And I've managed to get a Fly Sky Radio too with the receiver. I'll give that a go soon, I hope. Um, and also rebuild the XKA 800 in foam board and try and refly that. That's just another sideline project for now. Um, <clears throat> hope you're all well and good. As I say, recommendations, not on postcards, please. Just post your comments below, it'd be great. Hope you enjoyed the footage. I certainly enjoyed flying it. Um, it's gorgeous weather at the moment. Sad the situation we find ourselves in, but thanks again for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.